Hi guys, so today we're going to be working on, uh, on our Dark Ages CEI. So those two documents that you did last week, Dark Ages Day 1 and Day 2, were really to prepare you for this, right? So you made a decision so far if you thought the Dark Ages were really dark or not, and that's what we're going to use on this CEI. So let's look over the directions, and then I'm going to walk you through how to really get started on this. So again, you're answering this question, which you already have, and we'll talk about that later. Were the Dark Ages really dark? You know, so again, what that means, you know, were they a bad time? Then they were really dark. Were they not a bad time? Then they were not really dark. So this is a CEI, except you have this added part that we talked about yesterday in the counterclaim, right? So where you say the opposite side and then why it's wrong. And we're going to go over that down in our graphic organizer. Okay, but other than that, you know, your claim, evidence, interpretation, evidence, interpretation, then your counterclaim comes in, then a concluding sentence. So these have to be seven sentences. Uh, you know, try to make sure we work on our spelling and grammar, right? Use spell check. It's there to help you. Um, and try to use some vocab words. So the vocab list, you know, is attached here. So if you want to open it up, you know, words like dark ages, obviously, uh, medieval you know, conflict, if you're saying it was a dark time, you know, so there's different things here that you could be using. So something good to have open. Then you'll see it says write your completed CEI in the final CEI box under the graphic organizer, just to remind you. And make sure to refer to the rubric below, also attached here, that's easier for you to read as you write your paragraph. The rubric is the same as our last CEI, except it's an added point for that counterclaim. So it's now nine points. Um, and this, again, I don't think I said it before, is going to be due Friday at 4 p.m. So you have today, Wednesday, you have tomorrow, Thursday, and you have Friday until four o'clock to finish. You're going to be working on this. Your teacher will be leaving you comments um, and we'll have some extra help time, you know, if you need more assistance or help with this as well. So let's go down and really look at our graphic organizer here. Were the dark ages really dark? Copy and paste your final claim from part two of 417 Dark Ages Day 2. So what I need you to do right now is go to Google Classroom. You should hopefully have it open as a tab over here somewhere and open up Friday's assignment, Dark Ages Day 2. So, you know, going to your classroom, my classroom again is going to look a little bit different than yours, but same kind of thing here. We're going, you know, whatever section you're in and opening up from Friday, Dark Ages Day 2. When you open that up, you should see your work from Friday because we're going to need to use these parts down here. Part two, three, four. We're going to need those. So have this open. So if you need to pause the video to take a minute and get this open, pause and open it up. Okay. So if we look, it says copy and paste your final claim from part two. So right here on our Dark Ages Day 2, part two, final claim. Oh, here's my claim. So you're going to copy that. So again, control or command C, or you can right click, you know, copy, bring that over and paste it. So control or command V or right click paste. And, you know, if, if you have it italics, you can always get rid of that. So the claim for this one, and yours might be the other side. This is just an example of where to get your information from. The dark ages were not dark because there were improvements in technology and new universities were created. So evidence, and we're going to get both pieces of evidence before we do the interpretations. Use your first evidence from part three of 417 dark ages day two. So again, this is why we need this open. Here's evidence. The first half of the claim, improvements in technology. Oh, here's their evidence about that, technological improvements. So let's copy that. So again, Command or Control C or right click, copy. And we're going to paste that into the quotation marks, right? Because it's a quote. 
depending on if you need to just bring that back. Um, and right here where it says according to document number and there's this blank space, you need to put whatever document number right here that that came from. So this was from document four. So we can get rid of those and say document number four. Now let's get our second evidence just while we're on here, which is from, if we look, document number six, new universities. So let's copy that. So again, command or control C or you can right click, copy, bring it over to your second evidence down here, which again, it was document six for this person, but whatever number, one, two, three, four, five, or six that you used. And let's put that quote, control, command, or right click, V, to paste it. So now they have both quotes. <clears throat> now you're gonna have to start your evidence, your interpretations. So interpretation, if you said the dark ages were dark, so I'm reading over here, these directions, then explain how your evidence shows how dark the times were, the bad things happening. So, you know, what was happening? Was there conflict? Were there, was there violence? Was there um, hard times, terrible things happening? If you said the dark ages were not dark, explain how your evidence shows how good things were happening, right? So good things were going on. And we gave you a sentence starter here. So this shows that the dark ages, and again, you're going to delete, you know, whichever one you're not using, you know, were really dark because, or this shows that the dark ages were not really dark because, so again, talking about how does that show that a good thing was happening or that a bad thing was happening? I'm just going to show how there were bad things happening or it shows how there were good things happening. Okay, so making sure, you know, use this over here to help you think about how to interpret. And again, we did give you those sentence starters. <clears throat> so why don't you pause, work on both of your interpretations. So again, deleting whichever one doesn't apply to you. Like this person, they would have to say we're not really dark because. So they would just go ahead and delete that part, right, to just say we're not really dark. But you might have said we're really dark. So you would delete, you know, we're not. Okay, so whichever one, you know, you are using, you keep and you delete the other one. I'm just going to put it back. Okay, so why don't you pause, work on both interpretations, and when you're ready for the counterclaim, replay this video. Okay, at this point, you should already have your interpretations done. You know, your claim, evidence, interpretation, evidence, interpretation. And now we're gonna look at our counterclaim. You can open up Tuesday's mini lesson on your counterclaim to help you, but we did give you sentence starters right here. So I don't think you're gonna need too much help. Refer to the evidence you found in part four of Dark Ages Day Two to help you. Make sure to put it in your own words. So we are not copying and pasting. You know, do not, I'm gonna add this in here. Do not copy and paste. So if you said, you know, that they were really dark, then you need to make a, some may say it was not really dark because. Okay, so again, if your claim said the dark ages were really dark, then your counterclaim should say they were not really dark. If your claim said the dark ages were not really dark, then you need to use this one that starts with the red. They were really dark. And then, this is the really important part, you're refuting it. You're proving it wrong. You're going back to your claim, why your claim is correct, right? So if we're using this example, they said we're not dark because technology and new universities. And refer to the evidence you found in part four of Dark Ages Day 2 to help. So if we go back, let's look at our part four of Dark Ages Day 2, evidence for the other side. At this time, the Saracens killed all the Christians. They carried men and women away prisoners. So they're saying it was a violent, 
time with a lot of conflict. So that's what they would use here. And again, you're going to delete the one you're not using. So this person would not be using this side because that's their claim. Their claim says we're not really dark. So they would delete that one and they're just going to use this. So some may say the dark ages were really dark because of the many violent conflicts that happened. And again, where did I get this information? From part four, part four of my dark ages day two, but I put it in my own words. So we are not copying and pasting. I looked at this and it said that there was violence because there was killing. So there was conflict. So I put that in my own words there. Now, this is the important part. You have to bring it back to your claim. However, the dark ages were in fact not really dark because that's my claim, right? In this example, they were not really dark. And we want to use something we talked about, you know, because of the many improvements that took place in education and inventions. Right, so using this evidence, but again, kind of putting it back into my own words here. And now we have a counterclaim. So some may say the Dark Ages were really dark because of the many violent conflicts that happened. However, the Dark Ages were in fact not really dark because of the many improvements that took place in education and inventions. Right, so bringing it back. Now, we kind of undo this as if you did the other side. If your claim said that they were really dark, then you need to be using this side, right? So some may say the dark ages were not really dark because of, and again, you would use whatever evidence you found here, maybe because of technology improvements or because of the universities or the new art that was created. But then you're going to bring it back to your side. You know, however, the Dark Ages were in fact really dark because of the violence, the killings, the lack of food, whatever you talked about in your claim. So why don't you pause, you know, make sure you get your counterclaim done and then you can restart this video. Okay, your concluding sentence, this is just back to our normal CEI format. You know, you want to kind of have like an overall statement, you know, the dark ages. And again, this is back to your claim, right? Reflecting your claim that's up above. So overall, this person would say the dark ages were not really dark, you know, due to blank and blank. If you want to add a little bit of a real world connection here, you know, due to technology and universities that still impact us today you know, that had an effect on the world for hundreds of years, you know, something like that. Okay, so why don't you take a minute, and again, you're deleting whichever one you're not using, you know, so either were or were not, you know, delete the other one. So take a minute to do that, and then we'll just talk about copying and pasting. Okay. At this point, your whole graphic organizer should be done. And what you need to do is start copying down to your um, box down here, this final CEI box. So again, you're gonna take one sentence at a time. If you try to do all the boxes, that will not work. So take your first box, your claim, copy it. So again, right click copy or control command C. Bring it down to your final CEI. Make sure you start below where it says final CEI. So like right there is good where it's blinking. Control command V or right click paste. There's your claim. Then you're just gonna keep doing that, right? So I'm just gonna do a couple sentences as an example. Again, control command C, right next to the period, do one space bar, control command V, so that it looks like one paragraph. And you're gonna keep doing that, you know, that we don't have all the everything done on this example, keep doing that. Now, important thing, don't forget to indent. So where your claim is right here, you're gonna do five space bars. So one, two, three, four, five. 
and then you're indented. So that's good for your grammar grade. Okay, so you have to do, again, you should end up with at least seven sentences. So your claim, evidence one, interpretation one, evidence two, interpretation two, counterclaim, and then your concluding sentence. So we have seven sentences that you're going to have down here. Okay, so you're going to finish copying and pasting everything. And then again, your teacher will be on here, you know, to leave you some feedback, leave you some comments. If you have other questions, you can reach out to your teacher during extra help or an email or a private comment. And again, you have your rubric down here that you can refer to. It's going to be out in nine points. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. And again, this is due Friday, April 24th, this Friday at 4 p.m. Okay, and again, reach out if you need help. You know, we're here to help you. Don't try to do it on your own if this is still confusing. Talk to you later, guys.